Hello everyone. My name is Nikunj Parekh. I am working as a senior automation engineer at QK Services. Today I am going to give you a presentation on Windows app automation using WinApp driver. So let's start. Topics that I am going to cover are what is Windows app automation, what is WinApp driver, why to use it, how to develop and run automation tests using WinApp driver and report generation. So let's move to the first topic. What is Windows App Automation? To understand this thing, first of all, we need to understand what is Windows App. An application with graphical user interface designed to run on Windows platform is called Windows App. Depending upon the requirement and chosen platform, Windows App can be categorized in four types. First type, Universal Windows Platform Application. A Universal Windows App is an app designed to run across full range of Windows 10 devices, including phone, laptop, PC, IoT, and gaming devices. Windows Presentation Foundation application. This platform is used to build desktop application that requires sophisticated UI, grid customization, and intuitive user experience. Windows Forms. This platform is used for rapid application development, having managed and lightweight UI. Classic Windows application. This platform is used to build an application with the highest level of performance and hardware level optimization. Automating Windows application built upon this platform is called Windows App Automation. Next topic, what is WinApp driver? WinApp driver stands for Windows Application Driver. It is a free test automation tool to automate Windows application. It is developed by Microsoft. It can run standalone as well as a plugin for APM. Means if your APM server is running, then request for Windows app automation will automatically launch Windows application driver. Why to use it? There is a large number of open source as well as licensed tool available in market but using windows application driver have major advantages over those tools it follows web driver protocol means it uses same methods that used in web driver for finding an element or performing any actions so transition to win app driver is easy and quick for those who are familiar with web driver environment multiple language support it supports multiple language like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, and Python for script development. Multiple test runner support. It supports multiple test runners like MS Test, NUnit, JUnit, and TestNG for test execution. Free and community support. It is a free and comes with great community support from Microsoft. Develop and run automation test using WinApp driver. To develop and run script using WinApp driver, there are certain prerequisites that needs to be configured. These prerequisites are Windows 10 operating system, WinApp driver as an automation testing tool, which will be available from GitHub, Visual Studio or Eclipse as an IDE, which will be used as a test development environment, an unit or a test ng as a testing framework, inspect.exe, a tool for identifying UI elements. It is available as a part of Windows 10 SDK and can be found at location below. So let's develop a sample script for better understanding about the same. To develop script using C Sharp, once you open a Visual Studio, go to File, New, Project, and select a new project of type class library. You can give any valid name to the project like test project one. WinApp driver is APM compatible server and it follows web driver protocol to send or receive Windows commands. For that, it uses APM web driver. To add APM web driver, go to Solution Explorer, right click on References, go to Manage Nuggets, and search for APM web driver. Once you 
once you get the appropriate search result select the latest table version and install it same way search for n unit and when you get the search result select appropriate version and install it after successful installation of apm web driver and n unit to use them import their namespaces by using keyword after importing the libraries of apm and n unit we need to identify the class which contains actual test for execution for that use text picture attribute to relevant class in our case the class is class 1 then create test method which contains actual test case for execution using test attribute once you create a test method to launch your test application set the app capability value by supplying path to your test application for that create an object of desired capabilities and set the app capability value set the app capability value by supplying path to your test application in our case the path is c drive rx demo app dot exe also set the capability to specify device name in our case device is windows pc now create a test session to interact with your test application this is a port address where winap driver will listen for all incoming requests after session creation next thing is to locate an element to perform any operation to locate an element we can use find elements method which allows you to locate the elements with multiple options like by element id by class by name by x path and etc to locate the element by name use the find element by name method
to get the name of an element first open inspect tool available in your windows 10 sdk now go to a test application select any element in inspect tool you can see all the attributes associated with that element like control name control type its automation id and its class name now copy the name of an element and supply as a parameter value you can also perform actions associated with that element like send keys to enter the data same way you can find the elements by their id class name or by xpath and perform actions associated with that element here i have identified elements by their name id class name and by xpath to complete the record submission workflow in this database to run your develop script first of all start vnap driver which will be available at your installation directory then go to test explorer and select the test case after then right click on it and click on run, run selected test So this way you can develop and run your script using VNAP driver. Reports. In testing, report is an important deliverable. It represents the quality of a product. It is a blueprint that shows how the scripts were executed. If scripts are good, but reporting is not, then it is difficult to find a bug through automation. Clear and comprehensive report help all level of people to reach to a certain conclusion. After script execution, gets completed a good report should include scripts that were executed with steps in the scripts which are executed execution time checkpoints that were passed or fail if fail what was the reason of the failure with screenshot unfortunately there is no direct support of report is available by any unit or vnap driver but if you have a good knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, then you can create your own custom HTML report. This is a sample of customized HTML report prepared by us. It shows high level as well as detail level of information like test case name, total number of test cases pass or fail. It also shows a test case objective with steps included by the script with date and time. With proper knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can also create such kind of customized report. Thank you for your time on this session. If you have any question, feel free to drop an inquiry at sales at And don't forget to visit www.kvk.com for more information. Thank you.